Hi, I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com, and today we're talking about the EV RE320. Now, the Electro Voice or EV RE320 is third in a line of legendary broadcast microphones. The RE320 offers a new shift in the way mics typically seen in the studio broadcast field are now being used on stage and in music recording studios alike. Now for starters, the RE320 is a dynamic microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern. Now it's modeled after the EV RE20, where it's about the same in dimensions, look, and definitely the weight. However, the finish on the 320 is semi-gloss black. Now like the RE20, the 320 has an integrated pop filter for handling the plosives, a humbucking coil that eliminates electromagnetic interference, or EMI for short, and something that is called the variable D pattern control. Now this pattern control minimizes positional and off-axis tonal shifts. Now what this really means is that it minimizes proximity effect, as in the case of radio broadcasters moving and talking all around the microphone. The mic generally holds its tone. The EV RE320 uses a neodymium magnet like its predecessor, the EV RE27 ND. This type of magnet is crucial for high frequency detail. Now this mic has a frequency range of 50 Hertz all the way up to 20K, like a lot of condenser mics do. Now the EV RE320 has a trick up its sleeve, or more so a switch. Now unlike other mics of its type, it does not have a bass roll off switch. Instead, it has a mode switch. This mic has the ability to operate in vocal slash instrument mode or kick drum mode. That's crazy, right? In vocal mode, it creates a nominally flat frequency response from 150 hertz up to 3K with a presence peak about 5 dB from 5 to 6K. Now, what that means is this mode is perfect for broadcast vocals, guitar amps, and keyboard speakers like on a Fender Rhodes or a Leslie, just to name a few. Now, in kick drum mode, it puts a bit of a cut in the low mid-range and the frequency response. It also flattens out the middle and gives a big 8 dB bump at 4K. Now, this mode is ideal, obviously, for the kick drum, but it can also be used on bass amps and as well as other low tone instruments. I have yet to try this on like a bassoon or a tuba, but you get what I mean. The EVRE320 is perfect for podcasts, radio broadcasts, and loud studio vocal recordings. Remember, it's a dynamic, not a condenser, so louder sounds don't scare it. The mode switch makes it more versatile for loud instruments and low frequency instruments. Now, not sure if this mic belongs in your collection? Well, look it up on MikeReynolds.com. This puppy rents for about 60 bucks for a three day period and 35 bucks when you're adding it onto an existing rental. Well, that wraps up the EV RE320. I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com. <laughs>